The one two again. Oh, an incredible World Series for the Kansas City Royals. They showed resiliency, Mary. They showed tenacity coming from behind. How many times did they come from behind to take the um, crown? Oh, I think quite eight, a few times. eight games, right? something like wow. that. Ooh, look at Mary knowing her stuff. During the post-game celebration last night, manager Ned Yost mentioned how several members of the team came up through the ranks together. We saw some of the guys here in Omaha. Yeah, we did. We're happy to welcome the voice of the storm, Chasers, Mark Nasser. Good to see you, Mark. Hi, Mark. Guys, welcome. thanks for having me. How late did you stay up last night? Did you uh, watch the whole you know, I, I watched the game, obviously, and then uh, you know all the post-game stuff because that's, that's what it's all about. About so I was up until shoot 1 30, 2 o'clock yeah. in the morning. What but it was you, a fun night. What you know? were you thinking though? Because they they were basically blanked until the ninth inning. You know, but this team, the way they've done it, all you know, not to throw out a number of stats at you, but in a World Series to come from behind three different times when you're trailing after the eighth inning yeah. against the champions of the National League yeah. is just remarkable. You do that three times. During a whole season, it's, crazy, yeah. it's a nice thing to do. But to do it three times in the World Series is is unheard of. So it was, you know, it was just a lot of fun to watch this team. You know, the 95 Huskers, they dominated. They just beat teams to death. And just, you know, that's fun because they just had that total domination. This team, the way they did it, one comeback after another, was just yeah. another fun way to get to a championship. And, and like you said, all those guys... Uh, we're at one point here in Omaha, 13 out of the 25 guys on the roster. So more than half of the roster uh, spent some time in Omaha. And, you know, right from the very first day, you know, that we had Warner Park open in 2011, Eric Cosmer was here, Lorenzo Cain, Mike Moustakis, you know, the names go on and on. And so to see those guys once play like a, like a, popular rock band, a, a small concert hall, right. now to go on to the grand stage uh, and be in the World Series and have the success that they did. Just a fun, fun night and a lot of pride uh, in the organization and the things they accomplished this year. It's fun watching this video all over again. Uh, to, to see it last night as it was unfolding, we were all our adrenaline's pumping. You were at game one, though, which right. went even later, <laughs> yes. right? That was 14 innings. Yes. So how, how was that game, oh. uh, just to be there in person when they, when they won game one? And, and really, that was kind of the, the start of all the comebacks. Um, I have never heard, uh, and I've been to quite a few sporting events, I've never heard uh, a ballpark uh, as loud as in the bottom of the ninth inning when you know, Nebraska's own Alex Gordon mm -hmm. uh, hits that ninth inning home run off of Juris Familia. Um, and it, was, it was just something special because those game tying home runs don't happen in the World Series mm -hmm. all that often. They and happen for, in your dreams. Exactly. You know, when you're a exactly. kid in the Little League and yes. you think about winning it for your team in the, on the biggest stage of all, that's when it happens. Yes, and so to see Alex do that, and, you know, I remember a time when Alex was in Omaha, you know, changing positions, going from third base yeah, to the outfield. Right. Uh, lots of changes for him to go through and now a four-time Gold Glover and a World Series champion to it's boot. So it's just a, amazing to see the transformation of these guys when they play in Omaha to now where they are today. Christian Colon, the guy that yes. had the, right, oh right. My gosh. Uh, the, the hit yesterday. The only time we saw him, it, 41 days or whatever since his last RBI, and right. then he comes in strong. It was like, dude, where did this come from? <laughs> it was so much and fun. And he had not, it's hard to face live pitching a guy like Ken Harvey, uh, Ken Harvey, Matt Harvey, mm -hmm. uh, four times in a single game. He had not batted in four Jeez. weeks. Wow. And to come up in that situation on the grandest stage and to have the game-winning RBI mm -hmm. in the World Series. He was in Omaha this yeah. year in July and August because he wasn't playing all that much early in the season. Yeah. So to go from Omaha now to a World Series hero in, in a couple of months, Jeez. just remarkable. I think it's amazing what the Royals organization has done in developing these players, mm -hmm. how they use the, the farm system, how they use the Omaha Storm Chasers to develop these guys and mm -hmm. bring them up. It, it's amazing. And, and they predicted this uh, mm -hmm. four, yes. four years yeah. ago, right, that they'd, they'd get there someday. Yeah, and, you know, you talked about it before I actually came on the air, just the passion that these guys have. And, yes, it's a cliche, what chemistry they have. Um, but this is sincere chemistry because 
these guys, like you said, they came up together. They mm -hmm. won championships in A Bowl, in Double A, uh -huh. now in Omaha. And a lot of those guys in 2011, and then 13 yeah. and 14 with Omaha. So they started their development process, winning in Omaha first before they started winning. Has, in has anybody? City. We got to talk about a couple of things. Has anybody mm -hmm. talked to Jershley down there? I, I texted Jershley. I have not heard back. I'm sure he's yeah. inundated uh, sure. right now because that's another great story. 37 years in the minor leagues wow. as a player, a coach, or a manager. Now in the big leagues, he goes to two World Series and today yeah. a World and Series champion. And making a couple of great yeah. calls there yeah. at third base. Yes, we know that. Absolutely. Okay, so you're here not just today because of the Royals, but because of what's happening with the Omaha Storm Chasers. We have a minute, so give us a few <laughs> points about what's up during the offseason. Yes, just in uh, two weeks uh, at DJ's Dugout in Bellevue from 6 to 8. We are having a fifth fest. It's our fifth anniversary mm -hmm. of Warner Park when Danny Duffy threw out the first pitch at Warner Park. Hard to believe it's five years later, but that is a free event. We've got some special announcements, and it'll be a great time for all you of us to... you have a hint to, for the special announcement? We, can you tell us anything about it? What it is, will what be is, special. Okay. Mike, that's, that's all, all, all I can do. And, and then there's also a promotion happening now to get families excited about next year as well. Yes. You know, we do surveys. A lot of big families come to our ballpark, not just families. Obviously, that's our, our prime demo but we have a special $200 membership. It gets you tickets to all Sunday through Wednesday games. That's 40 games you can potentially go to for $200. So a family of six can go. That's great. Yeah. For $200, that's, that's 240 great. tickets potentially for less than a buck. So it's a, it's a great deal for large families. Thank yeah. you so much, Mark, for coming Mr. in. Pastor, good to see Guys, you. Yeah. Let us know when you hear from Jersh. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, let us know. Uh, guess